I often get asked what I do when I'm not feeling motivated just to sort of stay on top of the house and not let it get on top of me. Uh, firstly, disclaimer before I do the rest of the video, I just wanted to say that it's always more important for you to take care of yourself. So definitely never push yourself too much that it affects you. Um, but today I really just don't feel motivated. I've got a bit of a headache. It's been a big week. We're going to Brisbane tomorrow. Um, Morning tomorrow morning and I just don't feel motivated today I'm not feeling myself uh, but I just thought I would turn the camera on perfect opportunity because it's a good example of when I'm not feeling motivated and just show you little um, tricks I suppose that I do just to get a few things done it's amazing how it adds up but without it really affecting me so the first thing I'm going to do I need to do some laundry particularly because we need to pack to go away so I'm going to put the laundry machine on, um, the washing machine on, and then we're going to, I'm taking the kids to the park while the washing machine's going. We're just going to get some fresh air, um, get out of the house, and I find that helps quite a bit if I'm not feeling motivated um, to do something in the house that needs to be done. Often removing myself from the house, even if it's 20 minutes or half an hour, really helps when I get back. I've shared this a few times and it always shocks people, but I don't really separate washing, um, as in colours. I just put it all together. Uh, it seems to work fine for me. Uh, if there's something really white, then I do. But uh, mostly I don't. Now, what is this? A blanket. I might do that separately. And some tea towels. All right. Here we go. Okay, now this is our washer dryer. I get asked um, quite a bit about if we have a favorite washer dryer. We have the LG washer dryer combo. It's the 8.5, 4.5 kilo. We found it really good. I have heard um, negative reviews about these, but we've had this one for eight years now, I think. And uh, we love it and we would definitely use it again. I don't use the dryer often on it, but if we have rainy weather or I just need to get on top of the washing overnight, that sort of thing, it's really handy to put the towels in as we go to bed and put them on um, dryer. So when we wake up, they're ready. Oops, I just got... Now, I normally just use the quick 30, um, but this has a timer delay as well. So you can pop it on so it'll be ready in three hours if we're going to the park for a while. Um, but today, we won't be there very long. So I'm just going to turn it off. What have you done? Keep going. 6,700 steps already. Good job. Go back to the 6,700. Oh. oh, I just went past it. There you go. Well done. Hello. And when will it arrive? I've got it in my hand. Oh, awesome. We're just in the park. Okay, no worries, baby. I love you. I love you. Bye, baby. Okay, bye. 1,198. Wow. You're going to make your 10,000 steps real fast. Oh, are you tired? Oh, let's fill our hearts. We do this thing. Should we tell everyone? We fill our hearts. We fill our hearts. And how do we fill our hearts? <coughs> oh. We give each other cuddles until... <coughs> Good boy. I found how to brush your teeth. You found how to brush your teeth? You're holding your <coughs> a bit short of a time. And see? Two oh, minutes. cool. Show me. Yeah. Well, there's the time up for You're getting itchy? Your teeth. All right, we'll go. Oh, wow. There's a timer for brushing your teeth. That's awesome. What is it? Two minutes? Yeah. Oh, you can change the time of things? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Screen time and everything. And then this, you hit back. Yeah. And it goes back to normal. That's amazing. And then you hit that. Goes to that. Then you hit that. Wow. You can and do a ready? timer. Two minutes. That's amazing. They've worn themselves out already, so we're back home. Um, I think. I cut the video a few times then. Uh, one of the things I was talking about was filling our hearts. We do this thing in our house. I don't even know how it came about, um, but it's stuck where we fill each other's hearts. So I might say to the boys, I need to fill my heart and they will give you a massive cuddle until you say your heart's full. And the boys will often do it too, which is a really sweet thing. They'll often come to me and say, I need to fill my heart. And then we'll give them a cuddle until they sort of say, yeah, their heart's full. And it's one of my favorite things that we do with them. Uh, the other part of the video was a phone call with Tim. Uh, 
hopefully, fingers crossed, we have organized a new and we've paid for something new to help our internet so that the live chats ready for project 14 3.0 will be more reliable which i'm really excited about so i'm going to get that this afternoon from him and we'll test it i might do a few live chats um, over the next week or so just before we begin just to make sure that it is reliable but i'm super excited about that having reliable internet will save me a whole lot of concern about it cutting out while i am live so that's good news we are back home now the washing machine is just about to finish it doesn't take long to tie the boys out so they wanted to come back i think there were some sand flies but we're back home now once the washing machine is beeped i'll hang the washing and then i'll share another tip with you this little guy has made my day he is going to solve our issues for going live on facebook all right the washing has been hung up it doesn't take very long just once you've started it often thinking about the fact that it needs to be done is worse than actually just getting in and getting it done so there's not a lot to hang up because we do our washing daily we are all going to have an afternoon rest today uh that's a good strategy because the kids need a rest i need a rest and uh it'll help for the rest of the afternoon and evening so there's two things that I could do one being set the timer for 15 minutes and just um, smash out what needs to be done in the house and the second is just racing the kettle and because I'm not feeling very motivated today even though 15 minutes is a short amount of time I'm going to actually go for racing the kettle we have in the background there um, the stove top kettle and so it does take its runoff gas. It does take longer to boil, so it's not as quick as the electric kettles. That works really well. Um, I actually haven't timed how long it takes to boil. Maybe I'll do that today, just for interest sake. But I'm gonna race the kettle, and then once the kettle's boiled, I'm gonna make a cup of tea, and I'm gonna go and have some rest time um, while the kids rest as well. So let's see how much I can get done. See how long this takes. I'm gonna just set it for 10 minutes and then see how much is left once it's boiled, just for interest's sake. I'm going to pop the dishes away first. Leftover baked beans from dinner. Is it safe to give them to dogs? I'm going to have to Google this so I don't get into trouble. Lacey, you want some baked beans? Let's go have some baked beans. Hello, do you want baked beans? Yes, you do. Anyone else's kids do this? Miss the bin and it ends up just on the floor. be for me. <laughs> the rewards of being a mum. Doesn't want to focus, there we go. Much better. Lunch is tidied up. It's five minutes of cleaning time if I race the kettle. That's obviously quite a bit longer than an electric kettle. Here we go. That's one of my favorite sounds is, this, is when this kettle boils. There it goes. All right, it's done. Let's turn this off. Time for my favorite tea at the moment in this cute cup that a friend bought for me. Always put it at the back um, of the kitchen bench while it cools down only because I'm so terrified of the kids ever getting this hot cup of tea. So it sits way back just while it cools down. And the beauty of the five minutes cleanup 
that's my little to-do pile still over there but the lunch dishes are done everything has been wiped down and i'm heading off for rest time and of course whenever i'm feeling overwhelmed i always talk about the fact that i get my planner out use whatever planner you have i obviously use the lbd um, but when i start to feel overwhelmed i grab it out and i just write out everything that needs to be done put it down into a list write my list of three prioritize and uh, just really get um, step back and have a look at what really truly needs to be done and what I'm just putting unnecessary pressure on myself for um, But I often find just getting it out of my head and onto a piece of paper is super helpful pop on your um, Laundry and put your dishes in race your washing machine or take the kids out to a park get out of the house While the washing machines going get a bit of a break come back um, Five minutes gets a lot done. So in five minutes today I got all the lunch dishes dishes away the dishes that were in the dishwasher packed away the um, dining room table wiped down, the bins out, so we've got a new bin um, bag in ready for uh, the next lot of meals. And uh, in five minutes, you can just really accomplish quite a bit. So I'm gonna go for rest time now. I am summoning myself to nap time and uh, I'm gonna go enjoy it. Know that when I wake up, I haven't left a whole lot here. The laundry's done for the day, dishes are done. Things have been wiped down and all it took me really is the five minutes plus the laundry. And of course, I always say, um, take care of yourself. I've got a cup of peppermint tea and my planner there sitting ready for me uh, because I enjoy getting things down into my planner. Um, I enjoy having a warm cup of tea while the kids are sleeping. So that's a bit of me time. And uh, I'm gonna take them into our bedroom now. I know that when I wake up, I have, even though I only spent say 10, 15 minutes in total, um, that little bit has really helped in a day that I could have left everything. Hopefully it's been helpful.